How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, I hope you're all uh, as excited about the Lumion 11 release as I am. Uh, I think there were some really cool features that were added and I wanna go over a couple of them with you. Uh, but in this video, what I wanna focus on is the IES uh, custom light import. Now, this is something that I think a lot of people would kind of look at and be like, oh, well, whatever. But I actually think that it's really interesting because while this does actually open up the possibility to do some interesting stuff in the future, for the time being, it does give you a lot more options with how your lighting is going to look in Lumion. So if I just set up a quick scene here, um, I'll turn this into nighttime and I'll open up my lights here. Now, Lumion already has 30 IES spotlights set into it. If For those of you that don't know, IES means Illuminating Engineering Society. And they made a file format that will tell you, or I guess it will tell a program like Blender, now Lumion, 3ds Max, V-Ray, whatever it is, um, basically how to disperse light. So not only will it change how strong light the light is in certain areas of the spotlight, but it will actually tell it um, the direction that it spreads out from a light source. So uh, if we just kind of drop this in, and we drag this out a little bit. As you can see, that's how that looks. And this lines up well with the picture as we would expect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to get an IES profile. Now, I found a website called IES Library. Uh, they're all free and you can just download them. And then you have the, um, you have the lighting information of that particular spotlight. So uh, I did download this one and I believe I called it light one. And so as you can see, uh, I'll maybe increase the cone a little bit. Then if I go into my rendered mode and I just to see the light better, if we pull this up, as you can see, this matches, it's, it's a very similar match um, because we're now taking that information and we're telling Lumion, okay, this is how I want my spotlight to act um, or spotlight to look rather. So, What's interesting about this too, though, is that a lot of manufacturers of light bulbs or pot lights, that kind of thing, um, they will actually release um, from time to time the IES information about that. So if even if you're doing a personal project or doing a project with clients, uh, you may actually be able to match up the IES information so that you can actually tell them like, here are the light options. Uh, if you get, you know, light one, two or three, here's how it's going to look. Uh, depending on what might be in your room, you can, you know, change it up. Maybe the light's a little too harsh for something. Maybe it's um, you know, not harsh enough and it's, it's too soft. So um, with this, you have more control over that. What I'm hoping they'll implement in the future is a, um, a way to create IES uh, imported um, files for um, the Omni lights in Lumion. That was something I was hoping that they're going to add in uh, just to have shadows in them, um, just because that would let us have a little more control over the lighting. But uh, I was, uh, I thought this was a really cool effect. Uh, I do want to show you one more. Now, I believe I downloaded, well, I guess I'll just show you how I did it. Um, so let's find one that we like. And, you know, maybe we'll do like something that's a little bit different than what we've done. Um, yeah, you know, let's try like this one. So that's that's different than what we were doing. Download IES. So there it is. I didn't have to sign in or anything. I just click the button and it's good to go. Uh, I'll go to build mode, and then I will find the light I just downloaded. Then, as you can see, we have that information. And sometimes you have to play around with the brightness. Like if we bring that down a little bit, then it's a pretty good match right there. So yeah, this is an effect that I think kind of uh, you know might have just sort of slip by people, but I think it's a really cool effect. Honestly, this might be, um, this might be in my opinion, my favorite effect, just because this is the kind of thing that um, you don't typically see Lumion kind of implement, like the ability to load this in. Um, and so it'd be nice if this was kind of a direction they went where you have more customizability, where you can take things that are, you know, IES profiles, whether it's like HGRIs, that sort of thing, and bring that into Lumion to have more control. So yeah. Um, I will put a link to this website below. Um, if you guys do find this interesting, uh, I really recommend that you do a little bit of research yourself and just find some that you like, um, because I think that this is really, really cool. Uh, I will say, um, I'm not sure if I touched on this or not, but just a, a quick kind of a note. So if we go into the library here and we find one that works. So maybe this is a good example. So when I was playing around with this, I wasn't actually able to kind of get this one to work. And we'll just pull this in and see if I was <laughs> wrong about that. Um, so if this is the one that I'm thinking of, yeah, so 
the reason I don't think this one works is because even though you're loading the IES um, information in, it's still bound by Lumion's cone angle, which is like, it's not quite 180 degrees. But if you look at this one, it's actually greater than 180 degrees. So that does seem like it's a small limitation on this right now, but there might be some tricks you can kind of get around to doing that. But overall, I, I was really happy with this. So um, yeah, I'll be releasing uh, quite a few videos over the next few days, just kind of going over um, some of the uh, some of the cool new effects in Lumion or some of the things that I liked. So, um, you know, if you're interested in hearing more, I'd really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.